What's cracking, people? Angelic Mayhem here. Welcome to Dragon's Prophet. And today I'm going to be doing a little tutorial video on how to... Oh, man. Aggroed my dinosaur. How to capture a dragon. All right. So basically, you want to find your prime candidate, right? And I want this little this grazing guy right here. He seems like he should be easy to capture. And you want to walk up next to him. Now, you can see in my hotbar down here, down here, that number six is capture the dragon. Now, I can actually move this around and rekey bind it or whatever. So, you know, but you're looking for this capture the dragon magic. And so what you want to do is you want to walk up right next to a dragon. You cannot capture a dragon that you've already aggroed. So if he's red all around and is trying to attack you, obviously it's a lot more difficult to hop onto the back of an angry dragon. So you're looking for a docile dragon, a dragon that has not paid any attention to you. Now that does not mean that if the dragon is red but he's not attacking you that you can't get him. If he isn't attacking you, any dragon is up for grabs. All right. So you just want to walk up behind him or near the side or whatever and then you're going to hit the capture key. Now before I do that, what you're going to see is on the right hand side of the screen here there's going to be a little mini game that pops up. And you have to beat the mini game in order to capture the dragon. What you will see is that there will be a little reticule and then around it will be a circle. The object is to keep the reticule inside the circle. How do you do that? You actually use your movement keys, whatever they may be. WASD is the uh, WASD is your default keys, but I've actually rebound mine. And so the object is to keep that reticule inside the circle. On the right hand side, you will see like a, a, a thing that will slowly climb redder and redder and redder. When it is 100% red, this dragon is yours. It will only climb, however, while the reticule is inside the circle. All right. So that's what you're going to be seeing. And then obviously, if the reticle goes way outside the circle, nothing can come up red. And then eventually, the dragon will buck you off and then attack you. So if you're going to do this, you want to make sure that you get the dragon. Otherwise, you're going to be involved in a fight. So here we go. All right. Once again, you're going to be watching on the right-hand side of the screen for the reticule. Or for the minigame, rather. And then we're going to hit six on top. And there it is. Now it actually tells you which direction you're going to need to push. And you can see that on the right hand side the little red thing is getting redder and redder. And now if I let this go it no longer gets red. And I got to bring it back to the circle. Now this dragon was incredibly easy. There are dragons here that are very difficult. And frankly, you know, this is base this is a basic tutorial in how to get a dragon. What will happen is later on when I find a dragon that I really like that is more advanced, I will do a second video. So consider this a basic tutorial on how to capture a dragon. Now once you have your dragon, wandering around with this huge lumbering ox is not going to be very easy. So the tilde key will get you off of him and then if you press it again, he will go away. And of course, he will appear in your dragon stable, which in my case, if I hit P, here's my dragon stable, and here is my newest dragon, my Satuma scale skin. Now, what else you can do with the dragon stable, I'm also going to cover in another video, but I noticed that a lot of people are having trouble learning how to grab a dragon and how to how the mini game works. So I figured I'd do a little video. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, and you're looking for more Dragon's Profit content, uh, this is going to be the place to be for that. So you're going to want to subscribe to my YouTube channel and give me a little like down below. I'm Angelic Mayhem, and I will see you next time.